What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be installing an ST gauge cluster into the 720. Now for anyone that might be wondering why I am swapping the ST cluster is because the STs and a couple of the deluxe trim levels have the clock and they have the RPM gauge. Now the base model like mine doesn't have the RPM gauge or the tack and it doesn't have the clock. And to me, it just looks kind of empty uh, seeing those two slots covered up and not only that I love um, knowing what my RPM is at all time especially on the freeway um, I could hear it and I could assume that it's around a certain RPM but I feel more comfortable being able to see the RPM itself and while the clock is a neat feature as well so this is the ST gauge cluster that I got and this right here is the factory base model one now Everything else is the same. It's the exact same pattern. Everything's the same, uh, except for this one has obviously those two covered. Now you can remove those two little spots and transfer the tack and the clock from the other cluster onto this cluster, but I'm just gonna swap the whole thing. It makes it a lot easier, especially uh, just swapping it out. If you ever plan on selling your truck, I would highly recommend that you don't mess with your mileage because for one, I believe it's illegal, and for two, um, you can get into a lot of trouble if you mess with your mileage, especially the way I'm doing it. This truck has originally 171,000 miles on the chassis, but my motor has about 2,000 miles on it, and a bunch of the parts that I've put on it have about 2,000 miles on it, so this thing doesn't really go by that and especially when I'm done with this this truck is going to be all new it's going to have all new bushings new everything so the 171,000 miles is going to be kind of irrelevant and in case I need to sell the truck I can give the next owner the real mileage that way they can go and register it with the real mileage and not the mileage that's on the cluster before I throw this in I'm going to pop off this clear cover and clean the inside of it really good with some interior cleaner. Now in order to get this off, there is a bunch of little clips like that right there that you access from the back. I like to use a flathead. It's like this, you push that in, unclips. It's a couple down here. I might as well do this now that I have it out because as you can see, dust always seems to get in through this hole right here. So that and then also this one over here. Another cool thing about this is for whatever reason, this speedometer has a trip on it. So I could actually track my trips like when I go out to meets and etc. I can reset it and see how many miles I've put on in that day of me just cruising around or driving versus the cluster that I have right now for the base model doesn't have the little meter. So I think that's pretty cool that now I have the trip meter. So this thing is got all the things that I need and all the things that I could possibly ask for. Now that I got it all nice and clean, now I'm going to replace the old worn out bulbs with some fresh LEDs. I do this on every cluster. I run blue and pink to give it a pretty cool effect. Uh, all my cars have this. I don't know why I do it, but it's my little signature touch. And all my gauge clusters on literally all of my cars have this. So I just have a bunch of LEDs. Uh, but you can do it however you want. You can replace them all and do all white LEDs. You can do green LEDs. Um, blue whatever you want i'd like to do pink on one side and blue on the other side to give it a little bit of an 80s 90s fade going on uh, so you just twist this little thing out and you get these little bulbs which are yellow and are super dim so um these all these big ones that you see all these big ones right here are all 194s so if you guys want to do this uh, they're 194s now these little ones right here these are a 74 bulb which is also a t5 so i'm only going to be replacing this one because this one lights up the actual like cluster body and these other ones are for your turn signals so i don't need to change those because those don't need to be any brighter they're bright enough now i'm going to replace these real quick with some leds and then we'll be all ready to go to throw this into the truck it's going to be kind of hard to see because it's pretty bright out but right there you can see there's a little bit of a blue tint so i already have leds in here i already did this when i redid the whole entire tier over here i have a pink one very hard to see though because it's obviously in the middle of the day but uh yeah when i did my whole interior i had this out and i did leds did the same thing i'm doing right now so I'll show you guys what it looks like at night, but essentially, in order to remove this cluster, all we need to remove are these two Phillips up here to get rid of the bezel. 
and then there is a clip right here the way i like to think of it is where you have your indicator like warning lights so right here there's a clip right here and there's a clip right here and you pull right there with both hands once you have removed your phillips once you have the cluster bezel off and there you got four phillips up here or you got two up here and then two in the bottom over here once you get those off then you want to reach your hand under here if you have that little cover that goes on here you're going to want to remove that if you don't have that you can just try to access your hand through here it's easier if you have small hands but in front of the like air tube you go through here in the back and you go to the speedo cable which you'll feel towards the middle of the cluster and there is a little clip that you pinch and pull out and then you'll be able to pull this a little bit out and unplug all of the harness plugs so this is what it looks like if the cluster was still in there you would reach your hand over here grab the speedo cable you can see right here and there is a little release button on there that you would push you would push this and then pull it out a little bit and it'll come off of this guy right here and then you could slide it out of the way like this and unplug all of your plugs now the two clusters do have slightly different plugs since they do have different options but not only that they do have a different style of plug which the truck already has all of the plugs just they're not being used so they're usually tucked away somewhere so you have to go looking for them for example this one only has this additional plug besides the plugs that go into the cluster it only has this one versus this one has three additional plugs um, if you look at it it's got this guy right here it's got this one over here and it's got this one on top of the three plugs that go into the actual cluster so now we have to try to find those back here and from the looks of it this one right here is this guy right here that wasn't being used before so i'm going to be using that one and then this one just looks like a single power it's probably for the clock maybe so you're going to look in here um, there it is a single plug a single female and then this one it looks like a two pin plug so now we got to go in here and look for a two pin plug i had a hard time finding that one because as i was saying sometimes they're taped away because they're not being used but you go over here and oh funny enough there it is so it's taped up so now we're just going to rip the tape off and now that is going to plug in to our clock over here all right so just to double check with everything make sure that your lights do work so you want to turn them on and obviously you can't see them because it's still date out but you can see we got the blue over here and we got the pink over here and i already made sure everything works clock works my rpm works uh for a little bit it wasn't working so i have to figure that out but that works gas works everything works now i just have to see if the speedometer actually works but now i'm just going to repeat the process of putting it all back together same way i took it apart and put the bezel back on clean this thing back up Alrighty guys, well here is the finished product. I showed you guys what it looks like at night. Now, a little issue that I'm running into is my speedometer, for whatever reason, is not zeroed. And what I mean by that is usually when you're at a dead stop, the needle rests on that little pin. So when you're actually at a dead stop, it's reading zero miles an hour. Now in my case, it's reading at about roughly, give or take, 10 miles an hour. And I can tell because when I'm going what I usually drive at and the speed and the RPM, what I just know my truck, usually going about 55 and right now it's reading about 65. So I could tell it's about 10 miles an hour off and it's reading a lot higher than I'm actually going. So I have to quickly figure that out, but it's not bouncing around like they usually do and any of that. So I'm fine with that, but everything else works. So I'm super happy with with the way it's coming out i think the next thing that i'm going to be doing to the interior is i'm hopefully going to be adding some st gauges in here the oil pressure light the oil pressure and the voltage so i'm going to try to source a set of those oem then i could try to throw those in here this is not an st but i do want to have all of the st gauges since i love the way they look i'm also going to be swapping this steering wheel out for a much cleaner one which you guys will see and hopefully the next video because this one is just beat plus it's a base model and i hate these so we're going to be doing a nice little oem upgrade you guys obviously know what i'm probably going to be running 
So that's gonna complete this video. I hope you guys found it entertaining and hopefully found it kind of useful because that is the whole purpose of me posting this video is to try and help out you guys with 720s who are probably looking to do the similar upgrades. With all that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out guys.